Hey everyone, welcome to the final video of Sciatica No More. This is our strengthening video. So we're going to be building muscle in an elongated position. Now, if you didn't go in order and do all the other steps before this video, this is not going to be the greatest video for you because you need to have your release done, be stretched out, have an activated core and be mobile to fully, fully unlock the potential of strength training. Okay. This is going to be a quick one. Not too many strength training exercises, but I want you guys to go two rounds through. So I'm going to introduce the exercises. You can always grab the printable workout guide so you guys can do them along, okay? You do need a wall and a chair. So if you don't have your wall or chair, get that now. Okay, you have your wall and your chair. So basically, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to go against the wall first. I'm going to use this wall. And you want to bring your feet in front of the wall. What I like to do is I like to be about one foot's length in front of the wall. Okay, so I'll put a foot here, go one foot in front, boom. Now, take your hands and slide them underneath your lower back. So you remember from the activation video, remember how we crushed the space, right? So crush the space, crush your hands, take your hands out, make sure there's no space. Now, if you feel like my butt's in the way, your feet aren't forward enough, okay? You should be able to get your full back against the wall. Now, from here, activate the core, roll your shoulders back. This is standing cobra on the wall. This is not the exercise. What we're going to do from here is we're going to keep our upper body straight, keep our core, and we're going to drop our legs, bending our knees, okay? This is called a wall sit, or, okay, or air bench, whatever you want to call it. Now, look down at your knees. Make sure your knees are in line with your toes and you're slightly squeezing your legs together, and we're going to hold for 30 seconds. No one likes this one, but it's an amazing one, okay? What we're doing is I'm building structural strength in my abs and in my legs to make sure I don't put any extra pressure on the sciatic nerve. Okay, so hold. And we're coming up, nice job, okay? Now, next up we're gonna do is we're gonna be using the chair, okay? So what I like to do, just depends on your chair, is I'm gonna turn my chair around so I can use the back of the chair. If you need to use the front chair, it's fine. But what we're gonna do here, this is our reverse high lunge. So I'm gonna put my hands on the chair for balance. I'm gonna suck, tuck, and squeeze, standing up nice and tall. What we're gonna do, take your left hand, put it on the chair, take your right hand, put it on your lower back, okay? Right hand on the lower back, left hand on the chair. As I step back, my front knee is going to bend and my back heel is up. This is the high lunge. Why is my hand on my back? Because I wanna make sure I didn't arch my back, very common. The more you arch your back, the more sciatic you're gonna have, okay? So I stay suck, tuck, and squeeze. I keep my back nice and flat. I hold, I step forward, and together. Then you step back, and together. Make sure you're keeping your core activated. Step back, and together. Now you don't have to hold your hand there the whole time. You're gonna step back, and together. So 10 reps each leg, right? 10 reps each leg, tuck, stepping back, and together, stepping back and together, okay? So we did our wall, we did our reverse high lunges. Now I wanna work on our sit to stand, okay? So you're gonna use your chair, bring it in front, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you guys from the front and from the side. First, I'm gonna show you from the front, okay? So you have your chair, you're gonna put your feet shoulder width apart, right in front of the chair, okay? Now, you guys can see my knees, right? I'm going to make sure as I go to sit to the chair, my knees are staying over my toes and my core is staying activated, okay? And I'm gonna sit all the way to the chair and I'm going to stand. Most common problem I see, as people goes down, the knees start caving in. No, 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 puts extra pressure on the hips. Keep your knees out and coming up, okay? Now, let me show you from the side and this is probably the most common mistake is, I'm standing up nice and tall, okay? Suck, tuck, and squeeze the core. That's not the mistake is. When I go for the chair, the first movement is to push my hips back towards the chair. People do this. They go down first. Do not go down first. Go back first. Now, since we've got an order and we're really good at activating our core and have good mobility, we're gonna be able to activate our core as we put our hips back. Our core is gonna stay activated, boom, and up. Coach, what does activated mean? Suck, tuck, and squeeze, right? Feel the brace. Coming down, pushing my hips back, sit to stand, and coming up nice and slow. Those are your 10 reps, okay? 10 reps, 
of each one. That's three strength training exercises, folks. I'm going to give you the fourth one, okay? <sighs> now, the fourth one's going to look familiar, but uh, there is a slight twist on it, okay? So what we're going to do from here is we're going to fold at the waist, and we're going to put our hands on the chair, okay? I'm going to look down. I'm going to bring my feet back, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left leg, and I'm going to raise it straight behind me, okay? Now, there's not a lot of weight in my arms, okay? Good. Hold. Now take your right arm, extend it out for bird dog in a chair, okay? You're going to hold, suck, tuck, and squeeze. Take this back leg and just come up a little bit, up a, just a little pulse, okay? It's bird dog in a chair with a pulse. Nice name. Pulse. Ten pulses. Good. And relax. So, remember on the bed when I had you guys doing your straight leg raise? This one is like that. You can tell it's a lot more challenging. But what it's going to do, folks, it's going to have your core keep that hip mobile, strengthen that glute. Okay, so let me show you one more time here. We're going to fold at the waist. Hold. Bring this back leg back, kicking back. We're going to hold. Okay. Make sure you're nice and steady. Make sure your core is activated. Toes facing down. Arm comes out. And we're going to just pulse a little bit, pulse a little bit, pulse a little bit, pulse a little bit. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right, so there you have it. It's just four strength training exercises, but you're going to go two rounds through, folks, so make sure you remember that. Now, with that, folks, that completes our sciatica no more guide. And here's what we can do. Go ahead, download the printable guide, print it out, make sure you have it. You can watch these videos whenever you need to check in on your form, but by the time you learn the workout and have your sheet, you'll be able to do it on your own. The first time you do the workout, it may take an hour, but invest the time. As you get more familiar with the exercises, it'll take between 40 and 50 minutes. But remember, 30 minutes of it is the passive release, so the exercise portion ends up being about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? You guys are awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this course. It's free from now until ever, forever. And if you guys like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if you want me to cover something else, knees, ankles, shoulder, neck, upper back, just message me here, comment here on YouTube, and I'll be able to get those videos to you folks. So with that, I'm Coach Russo. Let's get rid of sciatic pain, and I will see you next time.